on Swiper Island stealing from you Oompa Loompa Doopa Dee Dee You are not allowed to criticize me What do you get when you're a liar and weak? Me Who doesn't know the meaning of accountability? Me What do you get posting something I don't like? I will silence you with a copyright strike I am just a piece of shit Oompa Loompa Doopa Dee Doo I'm Swiper Island stealing from you Oompa Loompa Doopa Dee Dee you are not allowed to criticize me Yo, first off, I want to say I appreciate all the birthday wishes that I got from everyone on my live Friday. And I apologize for the technical issues I had regarding some of the audio on the live. But big shout out to Chad and Laser Pants who showed up to help out since I was having issues. Also, shout out to Quentin J. Bedwell who has been killing it with his artwork. Go check him out. His stuff is amazing. Overall, yes, the live could have went better, but the point still got across, which was to spread awareness about the shitty actions of Viper Swiper Island. Some people think that this is about pride or ego or a damn G.I. Joe picture. It's not. It's about someone abusing the copyright strike system on Instagram and YouTube and attacking and silencing people that are holding him accountable. Viper Swiper Island, the creator who steals content from others, doesn't source or cite them and then blocks them and tries to get their platforms removed abusing the copyright system if they speak out about it. I'm now laughing at him because he can no longer silence people like he has prior to Laser Pants. I guess him trying to attack Laser Pants and his Chad has turned into a real life, the more you fuck around, the more you find out type of situation. He's now on the run making his social media private and even turning off comments in his posts and his videos or having to approve every single comment, just filtering them through. If you're a fan of Viper Swiper Island, don't defend him here. The facts have already been shown. The person that you're defending is wrong and I don't feel bad for someone who tries to terminate the platforms of anyone they don't like or agree with. All my subscribers have seen me disagree with either other creators or businesses like Hasbro, some of their business practices. What you've never seen any of us do is try to take down each other's accounts. Sure, nobody's perfect, but Swiper Island is the one who started all this and now he's running. If you guys want to see all the facts, watch Analog Toys' video. I couldn't have made a better video just stating the timeline and facts if you did not see the facts in his video you don't have enough knowledge to be speaking on the situation grown men fighting arguing and whatever over toys it's annoying it's tired it's played out but that's not what this is no one likes viper swiper island even the people who don't like each other agree that they don't like this guy he has stolen and took shots at and tried to silence so many creators from all spectrums of the toy space here's a list of just some of the creators he's stolen from a taking shots at or copyright struck a punk with toys the artist shark a full force podcast laser pants it's chad a toy kind of mood chaz the guru so this was all inevitable because the more you fuck around the more you're gonna find out anyone defending this man after watching analog toys video and just seeing all the facts i think you need help it's not just me that has had an issue with this guy so is it everyone else in that long list of creators who's wrong or is it the one common denominator in that long list viper swiper island The man stole an entire movie from Hasbro, uploaded it like it was his, got over 8,000 subscribers from it, and then brags like he did something amazing to get those eight to 10,000 subscribers. You didn't do nothing amazing. You stole a movie and uploaded it. And that's a fact. And he says smaller channels hate on him because he's got more subs and more success. Nani? What the hell is going on? I'm not a smaller channel, neither is Analog Toys or Retro Blasting. There shouldn't be anyone paying more attention to our reaction than to his initial actions that caused all of this in the first place. Ignorance at its finest. He's the original copyright thief from his name to stealing and uploading entire movies that he has no rights to on his channel. He just has the nerve to attack others for far less. We are here to play with and enjoy collecting toys, not to have to address idiots with no integrity like him. People from all walks of the community are coming together because this guy is just an asshole. 
At first, I thought he was hidden close to home with Laser Pants and It's Chad. Then through Tony's video, I find out that he also copyright struck V Conley and V Conley's wife, Blue Serendipity. It's about to go down. So yeah, of course he has to turn off comments and approve every single one of them at this point and run. <laughs> This man's most recent video has 5k plus views with 18 comments. Clearly, he's deleting everyone who's holding him accountable and speaking the truth. And he's only showing selective comments. Those numbers don't add up at all. 5k views, 18 comments? Stop it. <laughs> of course he's filtering them. Viper Swiper Island, this isn't gonna blow over. You will forever be the laughing stock in the butt of every joke in a toy space amongst creators forever. Unless, like Tony said, you apologize, which we all know his ass is never gonna do. Swiper Island, your stats just keep sinking. When this first started, you were down negative 50%. <laughs> unusual subscriber growth rate that turned into a negative 75 percent which then dropped down to a negative 166.7 percent in growth rate <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. And I checked right before making this video and the stats show today you are down negative 300%. <laughs> Men lie, women lie, but your actions and the numbers don't. On top of losing over 600 subscribers since this started. You were above 20.4 thousand around the time that this started. You were about to do a 20k giveaway, but I'm with Tony on this. I'm wondering if that's still happening. <laughs> I mean, not too many channels could say that they hit 20k twice. I think like that's a pretty cool achievement if you could do that. <laughs> You cannot silence anyone no more because you don't want to be held accountable for all your shitty actions within the past two years. I came across this great video from Rick. He literally worked for Hasbro on the G.I. Joe brand for over two years. And he wrote the 40th anniversary theme song for the G.I. Joe brand. Here's a quick summary of what he had to say about the situation and Swiper Island, which I couldn't have said better. Hi, I'm Rick LaPrade. You probably don't know me, and that's fine. I was going to say you probably know me from this or that, but you probably have no fucking idea who I am, and that's totally fine. But I'm here today just off the cuff to uh, talk about this whole Viper Island bullshit. Um, just fuck you, man. Honestly, just fuck you. I'm sick of seeing adults argue about toys. I think it's stupid. Um, more importantly... As someone who literally has worked for G.I. Joe, do you see the irony in copyright striking people when your channel is named after a location of a Hasbro IP? I wish I could be more articulate, but honestly, I don't want to give this guy attention or, you know. Fucking, I'm, I'm really just here to just piss on the fucking fire because stop being dicks to my friends, man. They're fucking spreading news. They're actual fans. And quite frankly, one third of goddamn 3POA literally is the architect of the fucking classified line. Um, so stay in your lane. Stop being a dick. I'm glad they call you Diaper Island. All, all you do is report other people's fucking news, man. You're not part of like the G.I. Joe world. You can say whatever you want about me. No one's gonna fucking really give a shit anyway. Um, Cause that's how I operate. But yeah, I, I clap back, dude. I wrote the fucking 40th anniversary theme song for G.I. Joe. I did the fucking social for fucking two years. I eat and breathe and shit G.I. Joe. Stay in your fucking lane. Stop the fucking petty bullshit. And if you have time, I encourage you to go fuck yourself and touch some grass. Yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Check out Jamo Guys. We talk about wrestling. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> fucking people. I swear to fucking God. Are we too old for this shit? Facts. We are too old for this shit. But we have to spread awareness on people like this when they do shit like this. Because in my opinion, Viper Swiper Island is and forever will be the worst G.I. Joe classified channel on the entire platform. Oompa, loompa, 
Doopadidoo. I'm Swiper Island stealing from you. Oompa Loompa Doopadidee. You are not allowed to criticize me. What do you get when you're a liar and weak? Me. Who doesn't know the meaning of accountability? Me. What do you get posting something I don't like? I will silence you with a copyright strike. I am just a piece of shit. Oompa Loompa Doopa Dee Doo. I'm Swiper Island stealing from you. Oompa Loompa Doopa Dee Dee. You are not allowed to criticize me. G.I. Joe, classified Marvel Legends on my mind. Malaverse and Necca Time. Mythic Legends I must find. SH Figure Arts, I can't lie. Rebel Tech got my pockets dry. Set action figures for life. Articulated Ninja is nice. Yeah, you might wanna subscribe. Action.